Last example, so I'm going to divide 4n minus 3 into this polynomial. Remember I said they need to be in descending order. And I have an n cubed and I have an n squared term, but I don't have an n term. So I'm going to have to put a place value in here, and you'll see when we subtract why we need it. So I'm going to go ahead and write first the 4n cubed, then minus 19n squared. And then we said we didn't have an n term, so I'm just going to put 0n. That's the same thing as 0. I'm just, just holding the place value then minus 4. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at our first terms. So 4n and 4n cubed. What do I need to multiply 4n by to get 4n cubed? And I need two more n's, so n squared. And that goes above the second term. Let's do that multiplication over here. And I get 4n cubed minus 3n squared. So I'm going to write that here, it should be a 3, minus 3n squared. And this is where you need to be careful with your signs. So we're subtracting, which means I'm going to change my signs plus a negative, and then this negative becomes plus. The 4n cubes cancel. Negative 19 plus 3 is negative 16n squared. Okay, now bring down the 0n. And we're going to do the same thing. What do I need to multiply 4n by to get negative 16n squared? And I need to multiply it by a negative 4n in order to get that negative 16. So let's do that off to the side. Negative 4n times 4n minus 3. And I get negative 16n squared plus 12n, a positive 12n. So let's go ahead and write that here. And this is where you would see if we hadn't put that 0n here, I would have brought down a negative 4, and then these would not have been like terms that I would have been able to combine. So you need to put this 0n here so that you're adding or subtracting like terms. Otherwise, we would have been stuck. Okay, so we're subtracting. So I'm going to put my parentheses, and I'm going to distribute that, and this negative becomes positive, and this positive becomes negative. So we can be careful with our signs. These cancel, the 16n squares, and then I have 0 minus 12 is negative 12n. Bring down the negative 4, and we're going to do the same thing again. What do I need to multiply 4n by to get negative 12n? And I need to multiply it by a negative 3. So I'm going to do that multiplication over here, and I get negative 12n plus 9. So I'm going to subtract my negative 12n plus 9. So I am subtracting that. And I'm going to go ahead and change my signs. That becomes positive. This becomes negative. And then it's the 12n's cancel. Negative 4 minus 9 is negative 13. So the remainder I'll write R for remainder is negative 13 over 4n minus 3.